Welcome to Tuesday and right now as we look from our broad camera in Fort Lauderdale, we're seeing a mix of sun and clouds and the same goes from our Key West camera. At least the great news is that it is dry for now. However, look at this nasty storm system that is spawning severe weather across the southeast. Yesterday there were tornadoes and still the potential for tornadoes and severe storms across parts of the Panhandle and the Gulf Coast states, stretching even into the Carolinas. For us though, thankfully we are in the clear and we could see a few showers later on. The rain chance is going up for us tomorrow. Breeze out of the southeast, 715 miles an hour, pumping in that moisture, making it feel muggy already into the upper 70s and Broward Dade and through the Keys. Keep in mind, these are the temperatures we typically see in the afternoon for highs. Unseasonably warm for us, but as we take a look at the big picture, this front is going to bring us some cooler weather, but also some wet and windy weather as we head throughout the next few days. If you're planning on traveling to the northeast New England areas, it's a mess there as there is dangerous ice, sleet, freezing rain and snow all associated with the same frontal boundary that is going to continue to sag southward across our state. As we check in on the severe weather outlook, there is a potential marginal risk of severe storms for central North Florida, parts of southeast Alabama, as well as Georgia and into the Carolinas. For us, we could see a few thunderstorms, but really more in the way of spotty showers and also we'll be flirting with record heat as highs will be close to the mid 80s as we head into the afternoon and there's a dangerous high risk of rip currents. If you're heading to the beach, it's best to avoid swimming. It is not safe. Small craft should exercise caution. Seas three to five choppy conditions on the bays wind southeast 15 to 20 knots. Future radar is showing throughout the morning. There could be a couple of dotted showers sneaking in here or there and then looking quiet for the afternoon. But overnight tonight, we'll see the potential for scattered showers and low 70s patchy fog. A lot of moisture out ahead of this front and that's the reason rain chances is going up as we head into your Wednesday, but by the time the front gets here, it is going to weaken a little bit and then we're going to see the potential for some lingering showers Thursday and Friday as the driest air is likely going to stay to our north, but we are going to see the rain chances decreasing along with our temperatures. So at least that's the good news. We'll wake up to lows in the upper 60s by Thursday and Friday morning. Highs will be in the low to mid 70s with some breezy showers and settled Saturday gusty storms ahead of our next cold front. Hey, 